Hello, you are watching KC News. Blockchain integration into US election system and development of new testing platforms by the second most capitalized cryptocurrency. Also in this news broadcast. USA Commission on Digital Assets Control. Denmark, blockchain test for shipping platforms. Console for mining, reincarnation of Nintendo Entertainment System. Details of these and other news next in the release. Avoiding paper ballots for election transparency. Blockchain to be integrated into the US election system. Man Senate issued a bill on establishing a commission for exploring blockchain technology and for using it with paper ballots during elections. According to this document, commission will study potential use of blockchain technology for supporting an expansion of the current voting bulletin system in MAN. The commission is supposed to increase the safety of the ballot papers to make elections cleaner and to reduce expenses. Blockchain platform is to be used in South Korea as well. This country followed the US example and integrated blockchain into its election system. Coinstack platform established by Bloco Blockchain Software Company was used while voting for social projects in terms of D-Day Blue Community Support Project in Gyeonggi-do province. In developers' opinion, such a technology was firstly used on this scale. Officials are sure about good results of blockchain using. As they say, the technology is the fourth industrial revolution which is supposed to change the world like smartphones did. Joining for the future The largest company of Iran established an alliance to speed up the communication between Iranian government and innovating companies. Answering an offer made three months ago by Central Bank of Iran, financial corporations of the country launched FinTech Corporation. Its object is joining industrial players. Participants of association believe that it will help innovators to boost their relation with regulatory bodies. As Nasser Hakimi, director of CBI's IT department, stated in his interview for Iranian news website waytopay.ir, fintech companies were suggested to create a platform that could help to identify challenges for fintech industry and find solutions for them. Agreement on Mutual Understanding Researchers of Luxembourg signed a treaty with PayPal Europe payment system to make fintech integration more clear and to close up regulative bodies, ordinary people and new technologies. Memorandum of Understanding was signed between PayPal Europe, the Luxembourg National Research Fund and the University of Luxembourg. This official document will be granted for Pearl National Research Fund in the field of fintech. As Prime Minister Xavier Battle says, partnership with PayPal has visible advantages. We have found a reputable partner to help create an international fintech center of excellence within the University of Luxembourg. Agreement on cooperation and support of fintech startups. Financial bodies of Japan and Great Britain signed a mutually beneficial treaty. Exchange of letters between UK's Financial Conduct Authority and Financial Services Agency of Japan will create framework for beneficial cooperation between these two countries. Besides referrals and market relations between Japan and Great Britain, this official document includes guidance and support of fintech enterprises and startups. E commerce, warehousing, industrial, building, cleaning, and more. Anyone will be able to sell labor time in their given profession making it easy and low-cost to recruit talent and pay for their services without any middleman. Get on board at the beginning of the revolution in recruitment with Chronobank. Ethereum is developing a new testing network. One of the most developing cryptocurrencies is improving its platform. After DDoS attack on the 24th of February in Robston Network, Ethereum developers remained without reliable testing platform. Kovan is developing a new landing based on proof-of-activity consensus engine. This is supposed to strengthen protection from attacks to improve an uninterrupted upgrade system and flow capacity of transactions. David Wood, co-founder of Ethereum and Parity Technologies, commented, I'm excited to be part of this truly multilateral grassroots community efforts and hope it sets on a path to a more inclusive and decentralized Ethereum ecosystem. Convenience of blockchain in use The Danish cargo company Maisk has successfully tested blockchain for using it in its account system. After successful trials, Danish shipping company is going to switch to blockchain to simplify shipping process and reduce expenses on paper documentation. As Ibrahim Gokin, chief digital officer for Maisk Transport and Logistics says, 
Nothing can contest with the huge potential of blockchain in this context, but there is no confidence yet that it's ready for prime time fully. That's why they are testing different blockchain integration cases to understand how they can use this technology. Now we accept bitcoins. The Russian company producing mobile now receives payments in cryptocurrency. Now clients can pay to Basis Factory for mobile, limestone powder and mineral powders in bitcoin. According to instruction given to a customer in case of choosing Bitcoin as payment method, it is necessary to transfer funds to a company wallet and after that to add the order number in the comments of the payment. European banks to use blockchain for mining resources. Energy market is waiting for new technologies. ING and Societe Generale banks are intended to use blockchain in liquefied natural gas LNG trading. The blockchain platform ensures that expenses of Mercuria Energetic Company, as stated banks, were reduced by 30%, and technology processes were accelerated by 7 According to Patrick Ornard, ING's Managing Director for Trade and Commodity Finance, they have already negotiated on testing a blockchain deal with several companies active in the LNG companies. <music> Cryptocurrency to be supervised by the new authority. US government established a Committee for Digital Assets Control. Digital Assets Tax Policy Coalition was created in Washington. The government establishment was initiated and founded by the Chamber of Digital Commerce and Steptoe and Johnson, an international law company. The object is development of efficient tax policies for the growing virtual currency markets. The coalition is expected to construct an acceptable model which will work efficiently, both in the sphere of finance and at the government level. Free Bitcoin Transfer African mobile payment service created a new cryptocurrency transfer platform without charges. A new Bitwala cryptocurrency exchange service will ensure free Bitcoin transfer to any m -Pesa account. According to m -Pesa announcement, users will be able to transfer their funds to m -Pesa account holders in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda and Nigeria. For such an operation, Bitwala's customers need to use mobile money and then they need to select the payout currency. Penalty in Bitcoins Norwegian government is moving with the times and has already managed to impose a fine on drug dealers in Bitcoin. According to court's decision, they must pay 120 Bitcoins and 3,100,000 Norwegian crowns. Criminals conducted their illegal activities through Silk Road Anonymous trading platform. Since they were arrested in June of 2015, the Bitcoin rates has considerably increased and no penalty value is much more than it was then. Norwegian court is supposed to make a decision in the end of 2017. But according to a Tony Beck Pedersen statement, it doesn't mean that Norway has accepted Bitcoin as a legal mean of payout. <music> Earn money while playing. Ajles Casino raised more than $2 million. This Ethereum smart contract based casino offers a 0% house age and solves the question of casino's transparency once and for all. Of next, we will speak with co-founder of Agilis, Thomas Droxas. Hello, Thomas. Hi, nice to meet you. What would you say about Agilis ICO? How's it going? Um, yeah, so with the team, we are really excited. Uh, and, uh, well, so far, uh, we consider that it's one of the most uh, successful gambling ICOs in the Ethereum community. Um, and right now, we have uh, you know, sufficient funds to develop uh, like a decent amount of games. Uh, and uh, yeah, in general, the team, team is really happy uh, with the success which we uh, had during an ICO. To understand things better, let's talk more precisely about the Ageless project itself. What's the main idea of the creation of Ageless Casino? I mean, what is that makes your project unique? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so just to break it down, um, well, probably I would use uh, just like a simple reference. You know, every business is solving some kind of a problem. Uh, and uh, in this particular case, uh, you know, we, we took a problem from the gambling industry uh, and the main problem is that uh, like a lot of centralized casinos, um, uh, for example, like a Betfair or, or any other uh, which is using fiat money as a currency, uh, they have full power to cheat uh, against our own players. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and that's kind of a big deal for the casino industry uh, because uh, there are like a lot of casinos, uh, well, this amount of proportion of casinos, uh, which are actively cheating, cheating against uh, own players. They're uh, you know changing the uh, with a couple of tweaks in the programming code. They change the uh, like you know the house edges. They delay payments and do like you know some some shady and really cheeky stuff. 
Um, and then the worst part about this problem is that, uh, you know, it kind of damages all industry uh, because right now, uh, you know, uh, people, they will never know whether the casino is cheating against them or not. Uh, and they will start questioning, you know, every casino uh, and they kind of lose trust in, uh, you know, in the, in, the industry, in the industry. And over the long run, uh, you know, people might uh, drift away uh, because cheating problem is not solved. Um, so, so yeah, so the blockchain, um, you know, as a technology as such, it, uh, it solves a transparency problem uh, in a lot of industries. And then we thought, you know, why not solving this transparency in the casino industry and making, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, the, the gambling products way much better. Um, yeah, and that's, you know, the, that's the idea we had. Uh, and then, you know, uh, six months ago, we launched Ethereum slot and it was like absolutely transparent slot machine. And even if we want to cheat, uh, we, you know, we can do that without being spotted on the blockchain. Uh, and then we realized, uh, you know, that's like a really, uh, really strong product. Uh, and, you know, we need to move further. So that would be, uh, you know, like a brief introduction. We've noticed that your project receives a huge support from Ethereum community. Why Ethereum is supporting your casino so much? Um, yeah, well, of course, uh, because, you know, we kind of use Ethereum solutions and Ethereum smart contracts uh, to solve uh, this transparency problem. Uh, so that's one thing. Um, and another thing is, uh, well, in some sense, we are uh, repeating the history of Bitcoin. Uh, because, you know, back in 2009, 2010, uh, there was a, a, like a, you know, uh, like a bit when Bitcoin, like early days of Bitcoin, it was purely, you know, used by black markets. And, um, and 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 casinos um, and there was like a really famous uh, case of a satoshi dice and there were a couple of years when satoshi had the satoshi dice had more than 50% uh, of all bitcoin transactions um, so you know you, you can imagine a casino having a, you know more than 50% of all infrastructure transactions and that was like extremely big deal for bitcoin uh, and uh, because of that casino, uh, you know, Bitcoin attracted a lot of attention because people, you know, who, who love to gamble, they eventually, you know, uh, looking for, for uh, new products in the gambling arena and they found like a Satoshi Dice. And then they, you know, from uh, like a fiat world, they changed to cryptocurrency world. So in general, you know, um, like casino businesses for the blockchains, uh, they, uh, they attract a lot of people uh, from outside the blockchain. Uh, and uh, yeah, and as I mentioned before, we are trying to repeat the history of uh, Ethereum. Uh, so we are trying to be the first uh, really, you know, playable Ethereum casino. Uh, and the Ethereum community knows if we are going to succeed. So that will attract a lot of people outside Ethereum, uh, you know, to Ethereum blockchain. And uh, right now that's why, you know, Ethereum, is, uh, Ethereum community is so hyped about uh, Edgeless. What is your target market? Um, yeah, so right now in, in two, 2017, um, we'll focus like a lot on development and we want to establish, uh, uh, we want to create like a decent amount of uh, properly functioning games and uh, this year we are going to target mainly uh, like a crypto gambling uh, communities. Uh, however, in 2018 uh, we will change our focus uh, and we will start focusing uh, like a lot uh, on people who are gambling on, uh, on dollar or on euro and then we'll try to attract uh, like like you know masses uh, from these type of casinos to uh, to our like edgeless casino let's go back to the ICA. what is the next step in the development of edgeless um, yeah so we have like a really good news uh, that today we are launching a black uh, blackjack uh, better version uh, and that's uh, you know that's uh, uh, that's a blackjack which is directly connected to the blockchain uh, and that means uh, you know it's a fully fully transparent blackjack and, and the best part is that right now it's the fastest running gambling application on Ethereum. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited because after this interview we are going to meet with the team and then we'll uh, you know, officially do an announcement. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, so today we are launching the blackjack, then uh, upcoming month uh, you know, uh, we are uh, finishing all the legal stuff, uh, then we are improving the blackjack and then we move uh, to further games and further games are going to be uh, like a, what's called like a Russian poker, then we'll develop like a dice uh, uh, and then uh, we also uh, develop uh, like a platform for sports betting uh, and then in 2018 we plan to develop like a platform for developers uh, where they can take our transparency solution or theorem solution and apply the solution to their own casinos. So that would be like a, like a roadmap. From what we can tell, the main goal of your project is the creation of global gambling platform Grand Region. Is it Roy? Yeah, so right now we would use you know, the resources 
and uh, we are trying to put the industry, the gambling industry, out of the shadow, uh, you know, uh, out of these uh, shady, shady transparency mechanisms. We are trying to put the gambling industry on the blockchain, so it could, it could become, like, you know, like a fully, fully transparent industry, and you know, people would start losing the, you know, these uh, social stigmas around gambling, and then people would start focusing on better and, and you know, and more responsible and, and more transparent uh, gambling products. Um, and, and that's what you know we are aiming to. We are aiming to change uh, you know the industry, uh, put it on the blockchain so it could be transparent, and then you know we could we could uh, you know all the industry and all people uh, could start developing like way much better and higher you know higher quality gambling products. You're the professional gambler and poker player. Is your poker experience as an intellectual gamer helps you in the creation of blockchain-based projects? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, uh, yeah, so so when it comes to poker, um, so uh, yeah, the, the poker like the professional poker uh, on Poker Stars, it was like really raising in 2000, uh, like nine, uh, ten, eleven, uh, and at that time I decided, you know, uh, okay, maybe I should try my, you know, uh, apply my skills of math in in, in poker, and then uh, I was doing, you know, I was earning for a living playing uh, Poker Stars. It was really. <laughs> Really cool thing because you know it's like you open laptop, you you apply the math, uh, and then you you know you can live out of that. So definitely, this kind of experience uh, you know taught me a lot about uh, you know how casinos are functioning, uh, how game or like what is the game theory, uh, you know how math is functioning, was the bankroll management and all all that kind of stuff. Uh, and and definitely this kind of experience right now uh, I'm applying uh, to Edgeless project. Uh, for bankroll management, you know, for uh, for positioning of the casino, uh, for game concepts uh, and many more. So yeah, so that was like a really strong input uh, from uh, from my gambling experience. What kind of future do you see for gambling, poker, and sports betting within the blockchain ecosystem? Um, yeah, so uh, so far we believe that the blockchain is uh, you know it's it's. Ex Extremely good when it comes to you know putting the industry out of the shadow, making it more transparent, and then we believe that in the upcoming five years, uh, you know, pretty much uh, all casinos uh, will have to be on the blockchain. Otherwise, they would not be uh, able to compete uh, and provide this transparency uh, what people need. Thank you, Thomas. We wish good luck to you and your project. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, yeah, so definitely, uh, if you have any more questions uh, or you you know you want to do another interview, just feel free to shoot me a message, and then uh, you know uh, we can discuss the further development plans for the casino. So thank you very much for the interview. Internet user invented how to use a plain console for cryptocurrency mining. Plain Console 9 Tendo Entertainment System of 1985 and Raspberry Pi Single Boat Computer. It turned out to be everything you need for earning money. This is an opinion of Internet user GBG, creator of Retro Mono System. If the operation was successful, the screen is green. If it's not, the screen is red. But the inventor himself commits that his console is not powerful enough for stable earning. These are all news for today. Stay abreast of the events, watch KC News and our daily digests. Put the likes and subscribe to our channel. See you in a week.